welcome everyone. So tonight, today, tonight, I have a special guest in my kitchen. My lovely mother-in-law is going to show me how to make parsa. Now, one of my very favorite things in this entire world is flour parsa, not cream of wheat or not mixed half and half, but actual flour parsa. And I usually play with it and it's usually hit and miss. So I'm not uh, always confident in making. So I am a visual learner and as a visual learner, um, I, she's here visiting with me for a few days, so I asked her to show me how to um, make a little bit of parsa. So in the pot, she has, uh, she just emptied one full tin of ghee, and this is the brand that we're using. She says it's one pound. I don't know because I will average also, and she also averages. So we just emptied uh, one of these tins into the pot. Well, you can talk. <laughs> one, one pound of ghee and one pound of sugar. And uh, yeah, we're gonna average up the flour here now. This is gonna get too hot. So this is a little sketchy video, but that's all right. And you might hear some talking in the background because I have my lovely grandmother-in-law and she's uh, 92 years young. So she's also visiting with us for a few days. So I'm quite lucky to have them both. So again, um, my mother-in-law averaging her flour. I wouldn't even know how much flour. How much flour do you think it's one? Maybe a pound and a half. About a pound and a half? Yeah. So this method or technique is called patching the flour. Or parching, parching, patching. Patching the flour. So we in Trinidad will say patching the flour. To patch the flour. So, yeah. She put the ghee, she put it on um, high yeah. heat, medium high heat. Medium high heat and put the flour in. Wow, it's coming together nicely. You want some more? The first two ones are going to be dry. The first two ones are going to be wet. It'll be too oily. Okay. I'll just cut the bar just in case. Okay. Mm -hmm. What? So the sugar goes into the water, mm -hmm. right? Did okay. you put that in yet? No. You want to turn it down? Yeah, there, low. Low. She said low. Mm -hmm. No. So I'm going to cook it in here. I'm going to cook it in here. When it patch, what? Okay, so it gets a little bit lighter on your hand once it starts to patch properly. The heat? Not that heat, you have to look. Ah, that's okay, so this heat. A little medium low heat. 20 minutes and I heat it for the ready. 20 minutes? Okay. Put a pound of sugar in it. So let me get this. So I'll be 16 ounces is one pound. So here I measured out um, two cups of flour which is 16 ounces one pound the correct to you okay I'm going to add this into the water yeah. milk or condensed milk yeah. Let me grab. Step back a bit. Mm -hmm. 
Into the water. That's cardamom pump. Cardamom pumps. This. So it's elaichi, but I didn't. I thought I had the powdered one already done, but I didn't. Don't Okay, so as you can tell folks that I was unprepared with my ingredients, um, but this was a, a quick, like, oh, could you show me how to make parasol while you're here kind of deal, and I was like, oh, sure, no problem, so I kind of um, didn't put together everything all at once, just quite. Just keep turning this until you get the um, the correct color now, right? Mm, or well, much more lighter than this. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. He said his mother makes the best parasite, so he knows how. So it, it wasn't quite like this. So we get like that. Yeah. Right. Where we didn't wait for light and all of that business. Ah. So it was it really was different. Yeah. No, but it, it came out like parasite, it stick like parasite, but then it stick up. Because right. <laughs> it didn't cook. Yeah. We're getting a real lesson. Okay. Again, Brian probably went with like visually what he remembered you mm -hmm. or saw you doing. Can you remember now this is how the cook? Right. This is how it's Yeah, he just 
knew the one, two, three steps, but he didn't know the actual detail of the steps. Mm -hmm. So he tried his best, but it was still good, but now it'll be better now. Okay, so you remember when you showed me how to make it? Yes. It, you knew the steps, like one, two, three, like what to do. Right. But you didn't know the detail of the steps. Right. How to prolong the lead to cook. Oh, uh, okay. And how it's supposed to get light and how it, you know, you kind of put it together quickly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we didn't take, you know, the, the necessary no, detail. I didn't put it in here. Like right. Cook. No, of course not. You were sticking it down. Yeah. Matter of fact, when I was small, as a kid growing up, I could train that. I used to have to do this. <laughs> you help her, but remember, you knew the steps, but you didn't right. know the detail of the steps, so that's what we were just discussing. Right. So, okay. stick around so you can help me to make some for the one. Of course. It's <laughs> uh, supposed to work. <laughs> yeah. The smell in here, friends, are awesome. It's just like... Okay, and a bowl? Oh, Is this big enough? Mm -hmm. Or bigger? Maybe. Bigger? We will leave it in it right? Mm -hmm. Making parsad is a constant turning. You have to constantly turn your pot. So it's a constant handwork. I remember long ago when you burn it and it would stick, but it wouldn't get one color alone, one spot. You find out color alone, you want to move on. You don't forget to get color now. Yeah. I remember a long time ago. Um, we, my mom had some friends, um, her, her name was Angie Dolly, a lady named Angie Dolly from Aranguez. Um, I don't know the name of the street, I don't remember, but it's where um, uh, her name is uh, Best View. Um, this um, goes to store in Aranguez Main Road. Better deal. Better Deal Supermarket. So she lived at the end of that street. So we would go there whenever she would have prayers or Diwali or any functions. And um, 
I would I remember the big huge pots on the ground mm -hmm. and the dabbler, the long dabblers and they would stand there, the men actually would stand there for I don't know how long and turn this big pot of um colour still a little too whitish. Oh, okay. They would turn, turn, turn the purse out until it was finished. And that was a process. But I used to be so nice because you'd smell the ghee. Mm -hmm. My goodness. Yeah. Smell that ghee, you know it's prayers, you know it's something good. It's good? Okay. Raise the heat. Oh, you want to put the water or let me turn or you put the water? Let me turn, you put the water. Okay, I'll put the water. Let's turn it up high. Mm -hmm. So now it's high heat and we're going to add the sugar water which is the pot. Mm -hmm. Wanna strain it and take out the elaichi? Mm -hmm. Put it in there? Mm -hmm. To eat it? Mm -hmm. You think I'm going to eat it? No. Sure. 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 Yeah, you got it. So during this process, you just be careful you get burned. Wow, oh, look how it's coming in. What? Ah, oh, look at that. Oh my goodness, the smell. Yeah, careful. The milk? Pour it in? Mm -hmm. Nice one. So, well, oh, yeah. I think you know it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can put the other cap? Mm -hmm. It's enough. Okay. Let me send it everything in. Now, look at that. Look at the amount of parsad you got with that little bit of flour. One come out here. Yeah. And this will always be my amount when I'm making because I won't make um more than this. It's going to be so good now. It's going to be so good. Mm -hmm. Got it. So friends, there you have it. This lovely, lovely dessert or a uh, staple for when we're having prayers or Diwali, any functions, it's called parsad. Special thanks to my my beautiful mother-in-law gracing me with her presence here for a few days and showing me how to make this lovely dessert. And you see how much the raisins came up to that little bit of raisins. Mm -hmm. So there you have it. Oh yeah. Mm. Well, Perfect. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna gain a little bit more weight here, but um here's a lovely person. And thank you to my mother in law. So very much for gracing me with her presence and showing me how to make this lovely dessert. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share my videos, comment. If you have any questions, you can definitely ask. And if there's anything for her to answer, I'll definitely have her reach out or I can reach out and give you the answers to any questions that you may have. Thank you all so much and enjoy.